Syracuse, New York. This is an 80 kilogram, 176 pound contest. For those of you who followed us, uh, the Olympic team trials in Lafayette, a bit of controversy surrounding, you know, Amir Anderson was in a contest where he went down in the first round, got up from that knockdown, boxed impressively, beating a high quality boxer in Obed Bartiel. Had the, the victory taken away by appeal because the bout was allegedly stopped. The appeal apparently was appealed and overturned as well. He got a second bite at the apple and was able to make his way to a gold medal contest against Nathan Lugo. Unforeseen injury kept Lugo out of that contest which allowed Amir Anderson to get the gold from the U.S. Olympic team trials for 2023. For 2024. So here you are ladies and gentlemen, Amir Anderson. And what has he done since then? What you're seeing right now, standing here in the center of the ring, now in the semifinals of the World Boxing Cup, ladies and gentlemen, who's on a quest to prove that he belongs on that team, that he is one of the best amateurs in the world. And so here we are. He's in there right now with Great Britain's Taylor Bevan. Amir Anderson boxing out of the red corner representing the U.S. Impressive victory last time he was in the ring here in Pueblo. But the victories aren't accumulative. What you did in the last bout doesn't carry over. Every bout is its own battle. And he'll have his hands full with Bevan. Anderson touching the body of Bevin before coming upstairs with a nice combination. Bevin can't allow himself to be distracted by anything that Anderson does. Anderson is a high IQ boxer. see the tape on the legs of Anderson which has become you know, a part of his trademark at this point. Good exchange there along the ropes. Left hand by Anderson may have been the best punch in that exchange. Now you see Taylor Bevan. You see the aggression tick up a little bit as Anderson finds himself closer to the ropes which is Generally what you would see in those moments. Anderson's gonna have to be careful about how much time he spends there. First round in the books here in the semifinal matchup with Amir Anderson and Taylor Bevin. Bevin in blue, representing Great Britain. Anderson in red from the U.S. Bevin, three of the five judges at ringside have given that first round to Bevin. The other two, USA and Germany, give it to Amir Anderson. I like what Bevin was able to do in that first round, ladies and gentlemen. Both boxers had their moments, obviously, as you can tell by the 3-2 split in the first round. But I like the aggression that Bevin was able to show when, when Anderson found himself on or near the ropes. I think he did a good job of capitalizing on those moments. I'm sure that's something that the USA coaches, the American coaches, Coach Billy, I'm sure that's something that he mentioned to Anderson between the round. And so here we go. You see how quickly Bevin found himself to the center of the ring. Good level hook by Anderson. Great left hand by Anderson. Anderson on the 
outside, reaching toward the body with the left hand. Bevin. Tied up briefly. On hold, says the official. Slapping left hand by Bevin. Raising the head of Anderson. That right handed jab is touching the head of Bevin. Keep your head up, says the official, slapping right hand by Anderson. body again and when he does so Bevin is doing a pretty good job of, of countering upstairs when Anderson reaches to the body Anderson needs to be careful with that and now Anderson good left hook upstairs Bevin may have been expecting him to reach back to the body another left hand by Anderson as Bevin comes forward now slapping with the right hand is Anderson toes, straight right hand by Bevin, as their heads come together, keep your head up says the official, both boxers throwing punches from the outside, I tell you what I really like about Bevin, is that he, his punches are as long as he is, right? He is not, he is not wasting any, any space. His punches are as long as he is. He's not throwing away any of that length. I think he's doing a great job, you know, of that. However, it, Anderson starting to adjust to the jabs of Bevin. As you see those scores for the second round, 10-9 on all five cards, ladies and gentlemen, so the judge at ringside started to like what Anderson is able to do. He did a, he picked up the offense quite a bit, you know, jabbing towards the body, kind of lowering the hands a bit of Bevin. And then there was a stretch in that second round where Anderson started to lead by going upstairs. And he had a lot of success with that. And in those exchanges, because Bevin is a, is a game customer, then in those exchanges, Anderson may be landing the cleaner punches. And now, as Bevin misses over the top with the right hand, the official cautioning Anderson about holding. Good left hand by Bevin. Bevin trying to make the fight a little more, the bout a little, a little rougher as they come together. And you see the heads come together again. And, I, and I'm not saying that Bevin is trying to do it, but I'm telling you he's not, he's not trying not to do it. And when you're down on the cards, you want every advantage you can get. As you see, the heads come together again. As you see Bevin pushing his head, you know, into the chin, you know, of Anderson. Anderson's got to be very cautious about the way he engages Bevin for the rest of this contest. Anderson trying to work from the outside. Bevin looking to cut the ring off. Stepping inside, reaching to the body with the right hand is Bevin. Right hook up top by Anderson doesn't land cleanly. That straight left hand by Anderson does. Bevin's elbow got in the way of that half uppercut that Anderson tried to cut loose on the inside with the right hand. Minute 30. Minute 30. 
lead right hand by Bevin. Wide left hook by Anderson. Up top. He straightened it out upstairs, uh, uh, downstairs though. Bevin have a little more difficulty getting to Anderson right now. Anderson along the ropes. Good jab by Bevin. Anderson again going to the body first, then coming upstairs. Still trying to come forward, trying to force the issue. Straight right hand by Bevin, left hand to the body by Anderson, then the right hand upstairs by Anderson. Shove by Bevin, quick return by Anderson. Ten seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. Left hand by Anderson. And that miss over the top will be the last punch of the contest, ladies and gentlemen, as you see. Amir Anderson congratulating the team from Great Britain in the blue corner as we await the judge's decision. Another fun contest, ladies and gentlemen. Amir Anderson, not a qualified Olympian, but he certainly feels like he could be and should be. I like how he's just going to let his game do the talking. As you see the embrace inside the ring, we love the sportsmanship at the end of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, for round number 12 of the afternoon, we go for the official word. Have a unanimous decision for your winner, Boxing Out of. Mia Anderson, ladies and gentlemen, you heard the stomp. And I like that. Raising the hand of his opponent. <laughs> and Mia Anderson telling the crowd, give me a little bit more. Why not, ladies and gentlemen? It's free. <laughs>